So today I have something really exciting planned. We're going to wash makeup brushes. I know you all know how to do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it since I do it so often and I have so many to do at a time. The brushes are over here in the sink. They're not sitting in water because the, then the bristles would fall out of the ferrule. These are the ones we're going to wash today. It's not all the ones that are dirty, but just the ones we're going to wash. All right, so I'm going to put a little water in the bottom of the sink, and I'm going to let them sit down there like that. So there's water, just a little bit of water down in here, and it's going to give me enough just to get the bristles damp. I'm going to use this eggnog. This is my personal brushes. I'm going to use this spiced eggnog. And this is a scrubby pad from Sigma. Put that there like that. Get those out of the way. Wet my brush. Stick it in the soap. And lather it up. After I lather it, I stick it over in the other sink. I don't rinse yet. Lather, stick it in the other sink. There's my Wayne Goss brush. Heather and I have observed that the Wayne Goss brush is difficult to get perfectly clean and I'll show you what we do for that. All right. I'm still working with that same little doobie dab of soap I put down there. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak. Wet that one. Looks like I could use some more soap. Put it in the other sink, let it sit, let the soap sit in the bristles for a little bit. The other sink is dry, it does, I'm not throwing them into water. I especially use up a lot of these goat hair uh, eyeshadow brushes, blending brushes. I guess because I like the goat hair ones because I like to see what colors on the brush so I don't accidentally pick up like a black brush and not realize what colors on it and mess up a look which can happen okay still letting it soak I go through a lot of brushes because I do my makeup every, most every day. Every once in a while I don't do makeup like yesterday because I was letting my eyelids rest from the eyelash serum debacle. That's my high cheekbone highlighter brush. From Sigma. So let while we're doing this, this one's the Jaclyn Hill, that one's a Sigma, that one's a Delium, that one's a Morphe, that one's a Morphe, that one's a Sigma, that one is a Sephora, that one is a Wayne Goss. I've been I've had that question before. What what kind of brushes do you like the most? I, I like a lot of brushes. All right. Real techniques. And you, the silicone ends get sticky 
And the way you get that off is you take a, a cleansing oil makeup and rub it down and it, it removes the sticky off. That's how, when that silicone has that reaction, that is some kind of a re chemical reaction that the silicone has and it turns gummy. Makeup, oil makeup remover will take that gooey off the silicone handles. It's really dirty. That's the one I'll use for bronzer all the time. Put some I don't have the need personally to get these pristine for my own use except for the white goat hair ones that I use for blending eyeshadow I like those pristine because I don't want my eyeshadows to look muddy that is probably out of a Urban Decay palette. This is my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. F64. I use that a lot. This is a mop. This is a art brush from Hobby Lobby. It's the Master's Touch 425 Oval Mop. I use this one for blush a lot. And it cleans very easily. I think it's real goat hair. I don't know what... This one is from MyBrushSet.com. This one is a It Cosmetics brush. It's the ones that It Cosmetics makes for Ulta. This one is a very old Sigma rose gold pencil brush, E30. I think they're getting away from the rose gold. I don't think they make, I don't know. I don't think they make the rose gold anymore or they're phasing it out. The rose gold ferrules. Okay, I've rinsed these brushes and that's as, for my purposes, that's as clean as I need that. And I rinse it and I squeeze them out like that. They're all squeezed out. All right, in case you have a need for your brush to be pristine, I'm using this. Uh, Heather sent it to me. And I'm gonna put a little on my pad here. And see, the tips of my Duo, Duo Fiber brush are not perfectly clean. So I'm going to work the bristles through that. And then squeeze it out. This is a Luxie brush. I like these a lot. Their handles are really, really smooth. The finish on the handles feels nice. All right, that's how clean it got. It's still not perfect. We'll try that on another brush. It could be that just these bristles won't let go of the pigment. All right, let's try this. This one is a Sigma brush. 
I'm going to squeeze the soap out of it that I used before. The philosophy, is that what it's called? Yeah, eggnog soap. And let's try and see if this one will come, come cleaner. And I like to rinse these brushes really good when I get through cleaning them, make sure there's not any detergents in them that could possibly irritate my skin. That one came a good bit cleaner. That let go of the pigment more so than the, this one's a Sigma brush more so than the Luxie one. All right, let's check, let's try the Wayne Goss one. This one is, in, in particular, is stubborn. You can see the pigment squeezing out of it already, and I had already washed it. Now let's see how clean this one is from. It's a good bit Oh shoot. All right, I've rinsed all of my brushes and they've I shook them out and this is what I do with them. I leave them overnight like this if I have that opportunity for overnight. Turn this little fan on and I have two, two boxes, one a little bigger than the other. The ones that are thicker, that I feel like will take longer to dry, I draw the ferrule off, the handle off, and the bristles one more time. I put the bigger brushes to the front because I figure they'll take the longest to dry. I feel like the circulating air will keep the get the brushes dry quicker and see because they hang over the edge all sides of the brush the air can circulate all the way around the, the brush and I feel like the fan will keep the brushes from getting stale before they get dry. So, like I said, the thickest ones, see, it, it's not depositing any color on the towel. So, it's as clean, pretty much as clean as it's going to get. And then I put the smaller brushes back here. I have another box that's slightly bigger than this one that I use when I have the kit brushes to wash. This one. And that's usually twice as many. I try not to get them too crowded. And it really doesn't take them long, as long to dry. It doesn't take them till overnight to dry. But that, I usually wash them that far ahead of time. I would say they get completely dry within four hours. Because the air conditioner is running and it's taking the humidity out of the air. And 
the fact that I hand dry them before I put them down. And see, here's the the other one. If I have, I need it. If I needed another row, I could use that box. And that's how I wash my brushes. And this is my T-shirt that I advertise in the description box. I still have a couple of smalls, mediums, and larges. And I'll put the details in the description box. I have on a sports bra. That's why the, that's why the straps are showing. The straps don't show with a regular bra.